Midday Kentucky, everyone. Of course, we have Dr. Eric Smith, General and Bariatric Surgeon from Georgetown Bariatrics and Advanced Surgical Services. Welcome back to the show, my friends. Now, we're talking about all the weight loss systems that you do over there at Georgetown. What I wanted to talk to you about is adjustable gastric banding to begin with, because you offer four different types of procedures. Am I right? Correct. Okay, so let's start with that one first. Tell me about it and how does it work? So laparoscopic adjustable gastric band is basically what we call a restrictive procedure. Um, it's a procedure that's fairly quick, takes about 30 minutes to do. Oh, wow. And you place basically a silicone band around the top part of the stomach that has a balloon on the lining of the band. And it's connected to a port that sits underneath the skin. Nothing's on the outside of the patient. Okay. And by placing fluid in that port, you can tighten or loosen the band. I got to help you. patients with weight loss. Half hour procedure, that seems like it's minor when compared to other processes. Sure, it's, as well. it's, it's almost always an outpatient procedure unless wow. an insurance requires a stay, okay. but it's, it's the, by far the quickest one that we okay. do. Okay, Ruin Y Gastric Bypass. So, Ruin Y Gastric Bypass is a procedure that we do laparoscopically or robotically. It's probably the one procedure that we have the most long term data on. It's been done a long time. Yeah. This is one of the the bigger procedures that we do, and what it does is it creates both restriction and malabsorption. So that's the two modalities that help the patient lose weight. So we create a very small gastric pouch to cause them to feel full quicker, and then we also bypass a portion of the small intestines so they only absorb a portion of what they take in. And those two things combined is what helps them lose weight. Okay, so the next one we're going to talk about is the vertical sleeve. How is that different from the other processes? So the sleeve gastrectomy um, is something that we do robotically. It is a minimally invasive surgery just like the, all the other ones. It is only a restrictive procedure. Right. So we basically take the stomach and we reduce it down to about the size of a banana. So you're basically cutting it in half. Exactly. We're okay. removing the part of the stomach that stretches. I like to tell people normally your stomach is like a water balloon. You put it on a faucet, it's going to expand 10, 15 times its size. When we create a sleeve, we remove that distensible part of the stomach, and now it's like a long, narrow tube. And when that fills up, it's full. It does not stretch or distend. Wow. One of the things that I've seen us talk about here before is the gastric balloon. Right. I love the look of how that works. Right. Tell us a little bit about that. So this is a newer procedure that, that was recently FDA approved in the United States a little over a year ago. It's been around in Europe for some time. Um, this is a, a temporary procedure. This is for patients with a lower BMI, a BMI between 30 and 40, um, where we go okay. in and endoscopically, with a scope, place a balloon inside their stomach, which just creates um, you know, occupa occupation of the space in their stomach, makes them feel full quicker, um, and it gives them the impression of, of feeling full kind of all the time. Okay. And we teach them portion control with that. That balloon can stay in for six months. At the end of six months, oh. then it's removed, and it's removed endoscopically. Interesting. Um, it takes about 10 minutes to place it and takes about 10 minutes to remove it. But it's really for that lower BMI patient that maybe is not ready to go to something permanent yeah. and wants to try to use this as a tool to learn how to portion control. Okay. Now, people sitting at home, we've just given them four options. How do they know, watching you right now, which is the right one for them? Well, I think, you know, obviously this is a quick summary of what yeah. we do. I think the first thing that they would want to do is go to our website and, um, and do what we call an online seminar. They can come in person. We do them once a month at the hospital and do the same thing. And then we will talk in detail about each surgery and procedure, risk complications, outcomes, how much weight they can expect to lose. Um, most people have done a lot of research and kind of have an idea of what they're interested in. Mm -hmm. But once they get that information and they come visit us, then we're going to look at their medical history, look at the surgeries they've had in the past, look at the things that they're struggling with, and really guide them to the right procedure okay. for them. Let's talk about the program fee people at home would want to know, is there a fee? No, no, we don't charge a program fee. I don't think that it's something to, to bring someone in that you should charge them just to have interest in your program. So we don't do that. Information and education is key is what you're asking. Absolutely. Asking people Absolutely. to come and sit with. Now, insurance covers these? Insurance, will, the first three that we talked about, yep. many insurances will cover it, right. including government insurances yep. as well. Everybody's plan is different. And so it's very easy for someone to call the office and in, in a matter of minutes, they can, with our insurance coordinator, say, this is my plan, and they can say, you do or don't have benefits, um, and this is the criteria. The balloon, because it's new, 
because we don't have as much long-term data on it, insurances are not covering it currently. Okay. Um, so that would be a self-pay option by a patient. All right. Well, as new, usual, incredible information. If you want to find out more information about Dr. Eric Smith, George Bariatrics and Advanced Surgical Services, he is the leader when it comes to these type of procedures. There's all the information up on the screen. Like you said, head over to their website. All the information is there. We appreciate you coming in again. We'll be